Hey YouTube, it's Bernie with Raw Customs Mobile Installation. Today we're going to be working on a 2015 Subaru Forester XT Premium Edition. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to remove the radio. This one's a little bit trickier than your normal radio. You have a cable on each side of the radio that goes to your air conditioning and heating. You need to remove both those cables before you can take the radio out. One of them controls the heat and air. The other one controls the position of where the air is going to be coming out. This install doesn't require a lot of tools. A couple different panel tools, a couple different pick tools, and then a Phillips head either screwdriver or All drill. Right, the first thing you need to do to get to the passenger side cable in order to get the radio out is remove the glove box. Your first step is going to be removing this right here. That is what controls how slow the glove box opens. Super easy, just pull it out. It's not gonna break. And then just kinda get it out of your way. After you get this piece out, you're gonna wanna grab in this general area right up here on both sides, and then squeeze in, and then pull down. And then these is what's holding it in on both sides. Then you're gonna have a couple of clips down here. Just gently remove those, and set that on the floor. The first thing I did before removing the cables is I turned all of my knobs all the way to the left. You're going to want to have them in the same position when you put the cables back on. This way you know that your heat is your heat, your cold is your cold, and so on. You don't want to have them opposite and have problems with your heating and air condition down the road. I can't really get my camera in here to show you how to remove those, but this piece has to come off, and then this blue cable has to come out of this grip here. You'll want to be careful when you're moving the blue part to grab on both sides to get it out of here. Because you don't want to pull on one side of that cable. You could snap it. And then on this one right here, there's a little tab you push down, and then that piece slides off. There'll be a still photo so you can see what I'm talking about. Alright, as you can see, I got the cable out. And what I did to get it out was I took one of my panel tools, put it right in here, and then pulled on both sides of the blue cable, and it came right out. It's a clip that needs to be released. It's biting into the plastic outer sheathing of the cable. You can just let that hang right there and let's go do the other side. This one's even harder to do while holding the camera. So I'm gonna show you before and after photos and where I place the tools in order to release them. Okay, you can kind of see the cable there. I'm actually laying on my back upside down. You're going to want to get a panel tool in, right in here. Once you can kind of get that clip to come a little bit loose. I'm going to get in the way of the camera here because I need my arm there, but... First get the round piece off. There's a little clip on the top. Push it down and that comes out. Now you're going to want to get your panel tool right in here. And then if you can get on each side of that cable, it pops out. Once you get the cables removed off each side, then it's time to remove the dash bezel so you can get to the four screws that hold the radio in. On the bottom, there are three grooves. One here, one in the center, and one on the other side. That's where you want to insert your panel tool to create a gap so that you can get the dash bezel off. You may need to use a couple different types of panel tools. That's why I have a variety out here. On the top portion here, there's a separation in the plastic. You're going to want to use your, your thinnest panel tool to get in there. What I do is I get it right in the corner, and then I do, oops, just kind of rub it along, and it pops out. Be very careful. It's thin in these gentle areas, and it will break there. So just kind of grab it and just, there you go. Don't pull it, but kind of move it forward, the whole thing. Don't pull this part up the whole bezel forward. Never pry against any of this soft leather. You'll mark it up and then you have to replace the whole dash. Be very gentle with it. After you get this panel loose you're going to want to remove the hazard switch plug. Just kind of gently push it, pull it up here, reach your hand in there and un unplug it. Once that's done start easing this out. Remember you got a blue cable over here that may get hung up so you have to put your hand in there it around. Just gently pull it out. 
It's only going to come so far before you have your two harnesses underneath that have to be disconnected. The tricky part on this is the clip that you need to press in is on the top. I found that the smaller one, you can actually reach up there, grab it, and unplug it. The bigger one's a little bit harder. You're going to want to get this out a little bit more so you can see it. So make sure your cables aren't hung up on anything. have some kind of a rag or a towel put it in front of here and right on top of your shifter so it doesn't get scuffed up and just kind of pull it down then you're going to take your pick tool get inside that cable Once you get both plugs undone, I'm just going to pull it off. Your white and blue cables, get them out of there. These are your two cables. And just set that bezel aside. Alright, last step in getting the radio out is removing the four screws. There's one in each corner. For this job, I'm just putting them in the cup holder. Okay, now the radio is ready to come out. You got all four screws out. Simply just slides out. Use that same rag to protect your dash so you don't scratch anything. And then you got your antenna, which does not need an adapter. Uh, your USB that's going to your center console USB a ground wire, your main harness, and then another plug between those that is for your auxiliary input that's also in your center. All right, now I'm just gonna go in reverse order and put everything back. First, I'm just gonna put the radio up in there. There's little tabs that it sits on. And then I'm gonna put my four screws back in. Keep that rag in place. I'm gonna put the bezel back in now. This part's a little tricky. Make sure when you're putting these in that these are gonna go through a metal brace on each side so that it lines back up with your me uh, mechanics on the sides. So gently put those in. You'll probably have to stick your hand in here and guide them. Plug these in is a lot easier than unplugging them. Just reach under. They're only going to fit in one. Make sure it snaps so it doesn't come undone. And then your other one. Well, those two are in. Now above, make sure you get your hazard wire and get that plugged in also. It's only going to go in one way. It snaps in. Now for this part, just be gentle about it. Get it all lined up and then it's going to click in. Remember, these areas right here are weak. It's very thin right there. You can break it. So just be gentle with it. Make sure everything pops in nicely. Now I'm going to put the cables back on. As far as the cables are concerned, just put them back on the way that you took them off. And make sure that your AC knobs are all to the left. That way it lines up the same way it did when you took them Once off. Once you get the cables back on, it's time to put the glove box back. There's four clips here on the bottom. Let's position it until they click in. Slowly raise it up. What I do is I just I gently press in on each side to help kind of guide it in. And then once I hear it click, I stop and then I reattach my bar here that slows it down from opening. Snap that back in and then just test it. Works just like it did when I took it out. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to learn how to uninstall and reinstall a radio in a 2015 Subaru Forester. XT Premium Edition. Your wiring harness, dash kit, and antenna adapter may vary depending on your trim level. If you have any questions on this vehicle or any others, you can contact me at rawcustoms.m.i at gmail.com. You can find me on the following social media sites, 
Facebook is Raw Customs Mobile Install. Instagram is Raw Customs underscore M underscore I. Google Plus is under Raw Customs. And of course, YouTube is under Raw Customs. For more videos, check out my channel. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos. See you next time.